Good morning everybody and welcome to a brand new video. Leicester and we uh, went and had a quick look around Primark. It wasn't great but um, I'll pop in the clips now of everything that we have done. So we've come into Forbidden Planet and obviously they have all the lounge flies but here's one of the new Little Mermaid which is cool but they've also got some fun ones like there's one covered in Ahsoka and <laughs> Tom came and going Jojo Jojo jo, jo. <laughs> Mickey Mouse Club. Mickey Mouse Club. I think this one's neat. Yeah that one is really cool. The Maleficent one's really cool as well. Yeah. But there's all sorts in here, and a couple of them are on sale, so if you've got a Forbidden Planet near you, check out yours and see if anything's on sale. Like that Nemo one. I was about to do Scooby Doo, but it's Looney Tunes. It is Looney I got asked to come outside because we've got a drink. But look, what's in the window? There's a really cool villains one. It's awesome, the evil queen Hades, um, Dr. Facilier and Ursula on it. That's really cool. Yeah. And there's a purse as well, which is awesome. But we really like Food and Planet. We hardly ever buy anything from here, but we always like to have a look. In the ladies section, it's just going to be lots and lots and lots of prints and pastel colours. And I can't remember what this is called, but the um, patterned lace-like fabric. All the summer. Into where all the Disney stuff is. A couple of bits on sale, which is cool. You got to get something a bit cheaper. And then... Look at this cute little Winnie the Pooh props up. Mm. We all love the Pooh Bear, so £7. They've got all the little um, shorts now, so got some with Stitch on the corner. This is part of the 100 collection. Mm. These are £8. So much Stitch stuff. We've got a big jumper, got another crop top. There's always some Stitch, stitch and stuff. Angel shorts. So They're supposed to be making a pounds. live action Stitch, right? Yeah, I think so. Chippendale cropped up. <laughs> Mickey and the gang. Anyone who loves all the Disney princesses, you've got a jumper here, which is really soft with all of them on, but it's that like full of rubber material on the top. So, oh, look at them. New design. That's some joggy bottoms. It's got writing. It says Mickey Mouse in it. The joggies are £9, and there's a jumper version too. So we've just been in the men's section and there's no Disney. No Disney. Couldn't see any, so now we're in the very small home section that is in Leicester. And again, more stitch. These hooded blankets. Uh, look, should we get this for Henry? Even though it's like 16 quid. Oh yeah, we can get this for Henry for his birthday. There's Encanto bath towels. I've been looking for the Encanto blanket, but I don't think they got it. I want something like this. <laughs> you always want this. Yeah. Cool, look at that. That is cool. Like discreet Disney. I think this is quite cool. We've got well, some look. new home um, kitchenware. Pretty good. Yeah, the Encanto water bottle, Dragon Ball Z water bottle, Bambi photo frames, Jurassic Park bunch box. <gasps> it's the 30th anniversary of Jurassic Park. That's what it is. Look. <laughs> I was hoping they would have more Jurassic Park stuff. Got some baskets, so a Mickey mini and a Tigger. Tigger. <laughs> £8. So we've got some Mickey fitted sheets, which is pretty cool. And then a Mickey and mini bed set. There's also a Harry Potter fitted sheet, which I think has got like headwig and stuff on, which is really cool. And Harry Potter cheapy bed set. But again, it's all florals and everything as well. I really like this one. This one as well, it's got like all the cactuses and house plants on it. It's really cool. Why, the place. Why did they go for that colour? <laughs> the place you will always find Disney is the ladies' pyjamas. <laughs> if you ever want a Disney tea and you can't find any Disney teas, go use a Disney pyjama top. As no. a t-shirt, that one's pretty cool. That is cool, I like the drawing-iness. The style. Chip and Dale. 
pretty cool. This is the one place you'll always find Disney clothes. You can call me Flower if you want. We like this style of the Winnie the Pooh design. They're cute. It's a part of the 100 collection as well. They're nice and thin, so good for the summer. But we're not really found too much today, have we? Not a lot. I like these too. Yeah, they are nice. I don't know if they're part of a set. I would wear them. So yeah, I hope you guys have had a good week too. Um, only a couple of things that have happened this week because I basically on Friday I went to um, photograph a wedding which was really cool and it was friends wedding so it was really nice um, and it was so hot because it's this weekend that is absolutely boiling um, for the first time in ages so it was boiling but um, it was really nice because of that and it was on a steam train but that did make it even hotter um, but this weekend I've been editing all those pictures and like deleting them down because I took 4,000 which is crazy <laughs> um, but also yesterday I bought us a new TV stand, so look at this. Obviously I need to like dress it up a little more, but look, it fits in this gap exactly like the shelf does, which is cool. I need to get a couple of baskets, I'm gonna shove those across that side and I'll get a couple of baskets here for all of our candles and stuff that we have. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. I'm really um, glad that we've got one that fits in that space now. Um, we've got so much space in case uh, when we get a new TV, because this one's like almost packing in um, when we get a new TV in case it's slightly bigger um, but yeah I'm really happy with it and it just works really well it matches the floor perfectly so lovely stuff just means we have to get rid of this one now more selling on uh, Facebook marketplace <laughs> but this morning I went and had another meeting about another wedding so on the way back I went to QD which is like a convenience store like multi buy store and I bought some more stuff for the birds in the garden because they're kind of like not around so much so I'm going to try and get some different kind of birds so I bought this suet block and the suet block uh, like feeder and I'm going to hang it on our um, bird table, see if we get any more birds. And now because me and Tom haven't really spent too much time together this week because we've both been working um, opposite days, like we've not had a day off together, um, we've only had mornings and obviously I've been busy with wedding and whatnot, we're going to head out to breakfast before Tom's got work at three. So it's half eleven now, more like brunch then, <laughs> um, but we're going to go get something to eat um, up at the Grange which is a garden centre so maybe some sneaky plants might come home with me. <laughs> we had a lovely morning going out and having breakfast at the garden centre it was beautiful sunshine really nice walk around the garden centre I bought a few things but I went outside and did some gardening got a slight like brownness about me now but then it started tipping it down <laughs> so yeah that's uh came to a came to an end <laughs> I kind of want to go back out but I also am like it might rain so I'm gonna start editing some pictures from the wedding from Friday um, but I thought I'd quickly show you what I got. So obviously you've just seen I got this beautiful little plant. I'm gonna Google all about it and see what it needs but I've put it in my little um, plant pot from uh, House of Disaster. So yeah that looks really cute now and it is on our new TV stand over by the TV there. And then I got a couple of plants for the garden. I was gonna do that today but um, yeah. Never mind. Um, but I bought a few smaller ones to go in at ground level. So I got these, which are Cali Bracoa. But they're these little dark purple plants. They're super cute. I got these, which don't have a label, but they're like little purple daisy types. 
so that's super cute too and that will grow and spread and grow quite tall I think so that will be nice as well and then me and Tom love daisies so these standard little white daisies but then the last thing I got which is my favourite I love it so much it's so nice is this new plant pot but it's so nice I love this kind of tile pattern um, there's more lightning oh my goodness <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know how long it's going to last. I'm got, yeah, I'm not going back out. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love it. It's so nice. I saw it and was like, I have to have this, Tom. I'm sorry. Um, I would need to put some upstairs in the guest room. I'm trying to make us move over to our room so I can sort the guest room out. Um, but every single time I mention it, we do something else. <laughs> and I never get around to it. Um, so I think Wednesday is my next day off. I'm just going to do it. Like, no, like... No excuses, just get around and do it. So my strawberries are also doing really badly, so don't think I'll get many of those this year. But I think I know what my problem was. I think I've put it in a um, bed that is just not good for it. So the hanging basket that I bought is just not any good for it, I don't think. So I should have just kept it in the one that I had as if they were in the ground and just let them be. Never mind. <laughs> I'll know for next year to put them in some sort of different terrain I guess. I'm thinking of getting a greenhouse so yeah next year I should have plenty. I'm just putting on the show that I am rewatching because I'm obsessed with it. Oh, The Witch has come out. <gasps> Witch of season two is out. Uh, season three is out. <gasps> I will be watching that. <laughs> um, anyway, I am just putting on my love, Shit's Creek. <laughs> um, Shit's Creek, Modern Family, and Gilmore Girls are like my three go to. Uh, TV shows. I'm trying to get watch This Is Us, but I feel like the episodes are just a bit too long for me to um, like commit oh. <laughs> commit to me like watching them all the time. If that makes sense. Like Shit's Creek, they're only 20 minutes, so I stick them on and I just like get really into them because the plot line is not long. And whereas This Is Us, I feel like the plot line for each episode is quite like intense and long. So, I don't know, maybe that's why, or maybe I'll just not pay attention enough. But I got through season one and I really enjoyed it, so um, I do want to finish it, but comfort blankets of TV shows, so um, yeah. But anyway, I am going to sort down, down here because I stole these little baskets from my office um, and I went to Audi today and I've got these, so I've got two here. I'm hoping that the candles and everything fit in one and that I could put the DVDs in another, like stack them up that way because I know what's there. They don't physically need to be on display there. These aren't my display ones, they're my display ones. I will keep the Studio Ghibli's like this because I like my Studio Ghibli's being out. Um, but like the Christmas ones and things like that, they don't need to be out. So fingers crossed I can put them like, up in one of these and that all the candles fit in another one. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. Um, but today, on a very dreary day, I'm hoping that the weather is gonna get better um, because I got to write myself a little summer bucket list. So me and Tom have got some holidays planned in August, but absolutely nothing in July. So I want to write myself a little list of some things that we want to do um, when we have some time together, because we always seem to spend, like we have very minimal time off together at the moment. Tom works three till midnight and I work like basically all the time. But any mornings that we have off together or any of my days off where we get like either, or Tom's day off where we get the evening if I'm not at work in the evening but I am in the morning or something like that. Um, we end up just staying at home because there's not really anything that we have on the top of our head to do within that short period of time. So I want to make a little bucket list of things that we can do and like the idea is there so we don't have to think about it. We can just be like, yeah, let's go do that. Or things that we can do on our days off because whenever it comes to our day off, we're like, oh my God, what should we do? We're just like, I don't know. It's very rare that we get there, so I don't know really what to do now. And we end up staying at home and just watching TV or doing something for the house, which is good. Like, we do need to finish our house renovations, but um, it'd be nice to spend some time together, like, just together. So, 
Yeah, I'm gonna write myself a little summer book at this in a minute, so let's do this first and then see what I can think to put on the list. bucket list I um, got stuck editing all my photos yesterday so yeah how annoying is it though I've literally just put some washing on and I put it outside and then it tipped it down so I've brought it all inside and now look at it glorious sunshine literally like a two minute shower how annoying <laughs> so I'm gonna have to go back out and put it back out again because it's nice and windy so and I'm one of those people who loves it when it's sunny and windy because I can do all my washing. <laughs> um, but right, I just thought I would talk you through my bucket list real quick. Um, it's nothing too crazy. So, like, people will have all sorts of things on their bucket list, but this is very, like, fingers crossed doable. Um, I just want to have, like, a goal for, like, me time kind of things and me and Tom time kind of things. Um, because I am very much like swamped with work. So nice to have like a, let's do this thing off the thing today. Um, so yeah, there's a couple of like things that will take like a tiny bit of planning, um, but most of them are quite like, let's just go do this today. So I've got have a picnic in the sunshine. Um, there's a couple of places around us where we want to go and like set up and have a little picnic for lunch one day or like brunch or something. If we both got work in the afternoon, we could go for brunch um, at like 11 o'clock and then come back for one and go to work for three. So that's a nice, easy one to do. See Indiana Jones 5, um, Dial of Destiny, that came out two days ago? No. Uh, came out, like, this week. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're so excited to go and see it. We're currently watching through um, the old Indiana Joneses, so there's obviously four of them because we're on number five. Um so we're watching through them at the moment and we're going to go and see it when we have managed to watch all four of the old ones because we know if we see number five we're then going to want to watch all the Indiana Joneses but not want to because we'll get to four and want to watch five again. So we're going to watch them all first and then go and see it. Go strawberry picking. <laughs> I planted strawberry plants and none of them have flowered or made strawberries. One of them did, the first one did and then a bird ate the only strawberry and then the plant died and I don't know why or how or what I have done wrong but they've just not survived so yeah sad times <laughs> so I want to go strawberry picking there's a really good strawberry picking place by us um, and they're actually doing this thing at the moment where they're hiding a little plastic gold strawberry around their strawberry fields and if you find it you get your punnet for free so yeah fingers crossed we can find the golden strawberry um, make homemade ice lollies so I want to make some like just juice ones and then we could make some like we could blend some strawberries and stuff or we could make some little ice poles like like ice ice cream lollies out of like smoothie kind of stuff which would be really cool um I need to go and buy some of those like ice lolly with the sticks and things um but yeah I want to do that because I'm pretty sure like we've had some hot times but we've not had like peak England summer yet so fingers crossed that soon and then they will be amazing. Um, visit a new UK beach. So we have got a couple of beaches around by us and we have, well, around by us. We're in right in the middle of the, like, look at the UK. We are dead in the middle. <laughs> um, so we kind of go up northwest main, most of the time. Um, so I'd really like to visit a new beach that me and Tom haven't been to yet. 
uh, make a potting station for our garden. So we have a random corner in our garden and I've got some random bricks that are left over from something and I kind of want to start putting them in that area and make a little table out of them and then I can put like little storage underneath the table for all my plant pots and things because currently they're just all over the garden. Um, and then I can also bag my... Um, put my compost out the bag into the plant pots on there too because my compost is just on the ground which means all the compost goes all over the ground so yeah I would like to do that and then that's obviously then something I can use all year round. Uh, this is one also requires a little bit of planning which is visit a UK waterfall. Um, I've been flooded with like days out uh, reels and TikToks and Facebook videos of like places to go in the UK because I keep looking at holidays um, and there was like a top five waterfalls in the UK and I really want to go visit a couple of them there's one that you can walk behind which would be amazing if we could like go hike there on a warm day find our new favorite summer meal so we <laughs> can never decide what we want to eat and we never really have like a favorite thing that we cook ourselves so I want to find some new recipes and like find a great summer dish that we can just have and it's easy and like great for when we're going to work in the evening that we can have at lunchtime. And yeah, just have like, find a new favourite, which is always fun. So yeah, do that. Um, go bowling. I love going bowling and I never really do it very often. But I always seem to do it like in the summer or like in the middle of the year. Like I never think in the winter, oh, let's go bowling. So yeah, I want to go bowling. <laughs> And the last one is kind of a cheat because I'm already doing it, but it's grow some sunflowers. Fingers crossed my sunflowers make it. So <laughs> I always grow them and they're about this tall at the moment. Um, but it doesn't mean that we're going to become sunflowers. So fingers crossed some of them survive and actually do flower and become really pretty. So yeah. But yeah. That is my bucket list. Um, let me know if you guys have made a summer bucket list and what you've got on it. I would love to like... Just fill this bottom bit of the page with other like easier things to do so let me know what's on your list and maybe i will make it onto mine oh but right i'm gonna go off to the garden center now i'm gonna put my washing back outside i'm going off to the garden center with my lovely friend Bryony. I went to the garden centre and me and Bradley had a really nice time. I came home with two things. I came home with another house plant. I, am, I really just want to make our house full of greenery. Um, look at how well our Monstera is doing. It hasn't got any gaps in the leaves yet, but it's got new growth and it's got really big and it's just getting really good. So um, that was my rescue plant from B&Q as well. So I love it and I hope that it starts getting the holes because it's a cheese plant. So it gets holes in its leaves. Um, so fingers crossed it starts doing that soon. But look how good it's doing. It's got so big. And hopefully it starts growing a bit taller because it will look really cool here. If it starts going up like this. It's really cool. Um, and I can get a bigger pot when it needs a bigger pot and stuff like that. So, so that's that. Fingers crossed that keeps doing well. Um, but I bought this little dude. So this one was obviously our last um, garden centre haul find. He's got another little leaf coming here and here. But he likes shade, so I had him here and he really didn't do very well. So I put him over there. He also doesn't like very much water, so he can stay there. But I bought this dude behind him, which can grow really tall, so fingers crossed he starts growing a bit. Um, I would really like him to. <laughs> He'd look nice there, quite tall, but yeah. Just want to fill our house with greenery. When I finished finally our gallery wall, I did it that one time and then they all fell down, remember? And I've not actually got round to drilling holes in the wall yet because our wall's too hard for tapping pins in. So I actually just need to drill all of the holes. And I just haven't had the time to drill all the holes and wall plugs them and then drill all the nails in and stuff like that. So my next day off was Friday. 
and I plan to do it then. So fingers crossed, I hope she get round to it. And then my desk area will be done because Tom's made space finally for me to get into my cupboard. And I can finally put all of my like crafty things in the cupboard. So all that will be on the desk and in the drawers is like tech things and some pens and some notepads. Um, and then all of the crafty things will be upstairs. So uh, my knitting and, cr uh, knitting and crocheting, all the salad tape and things like that, all of the like, all of the craft stuff will be upstairs. So that will be out of the way and it will just be like space for a computer. Which fingers crossed I will be getting soon and I'm really excited. It's like a little present to me for doing something I didn't want to do, which was the three weddings. Um, which I'm actually okay at and like I wanted to do it for the people but I just didn't want to do it for myself. Um, so yeah, it's a little well done you present from me to me. So <laughs> fingers crossed I'll be getting that soon but I do want to have it all set up first before I get the computer and I want that to be like the last piece of the puzzle if that makes sense. So yes, <laughs> I also bought from the garden centre a hydrangea and when I bought it home I had a, it was a really, really hot day and I forgot to water it that evening and it wilted. And I've been trying so hard to get it back since then. Everyone, all of the internet says, water it really, really well. Like, just keep watering it. Leave the host pipe in it for 10 minutes. And I, like, did it until water was, like, no more, could not go in anymore. Um, and I left it sat in water, submerged in water and all sorts. And it's just not doing great really really not doing great I took the dead head flowers off the flower bit and two have come back so fingers crossed that flower is okay but there's some just not okay this is the plant that me and Tom bought from the garden centre that we went to at the start of this video and it's doing really well it's spread out massively but I'm going to transfer it into the front garden same with these these aren't doing that great but I think it's because there's too much water I forgot to put the hole in the bottom of this pot. I think these two love water, which will be great. I'll put it out the front and that'll be fine. And then this one doesn't, so that'll be okay. I'll put that in a little pot. And then I think I might put this hydrangea in here. But look, it's really not doing well. I know they don't start flowering really until August time, but it's really not doing great. I don't really know what I need to do. I've had it in shade and all sorts. So please help me. Okay, I actually decided to cut it. So I've put it in this big tub, like I said, I've put the other ones in some smaller pots and I'll transplant them into the front garden. Um, but the internet told me to chop it, like I read a while ago and I remember, and I've just seen it there, some fresh shoots coming out of these. And it told me to cut it at the closest fresh shoot. So fingers crossed, this will heal itself like this one did. And then some fresh shoots will grow at the top there. So I've just chopped them all at the fresh shoots. So fingers crossed I've done the right thing. <laughs> um, but it seems like it was just those bits. I've just put them in there to see if anything happens. <laughs> I know it won't because this one's dead. But I'll just leave them there. Um, but I'm hoping that because all of this has come back and all of these has got fresh flowers on it, that um, all the fresh shoots do start to come out and it does get better. So fingers crossed, I'm trying to learn. But right, with that, I am going to get going. I will end this video here. Um, me and Tom are going out tomorrow night, which will be the next video um, for a date night. So that'll be really cute. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to that. We haven't had a date night in a while. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. We're going to go to Roxy Ballroom because it's just opened in Leicester. So yeah, that will be in the next video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. <laughs> I'm watching my one day green fingers <laughs> maybe get tiny a little bit greener. <laughs> um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching and we will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and leave a like because it really, really does help us. And let me know how your week's been down in the comments um, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!